Uh, hello, uh, Free the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, Beyond Two Souls. That's it. So I'm trying to do these in what I think the original order was. I've also decreased the voices because I've uh, decreased the music because I've noticed that the music tends to drown out the characters uh, talking. Your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. So this this part of the game is just to get you used to how the controls work. It takes a while as part of the game, but come on, Holmes, keep up! <laughs> So yeah, when it sort of pauses like that and it's white, that means it's time for you to do, do something, basically. When you can get it to eventually work. That's it, Holmes! Come on! I haven't got all day! Sorry, controls weren't working very well. Yeah, this can be quite confusing when you're in an actual combat situation, and it's the right controller that you need to use for this. See, my instinct there was to move right so that I was moving out of the way. the next couple. Got it? So this is getting you used to how combat works. Come on! Get out of there! So you need to press A uh, to make her run and then get in cover. Not really sure what I keep on doing wrong with this. So oh, your result is wrong. Start again. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. I think it's quite cool that they give her training for this as well. I 
this is stuff obviously that most people in the CIA won't be able to do, so. It's better to go for that one, since it sits in the middle, it's going to knock over more of them. Like that. Good. Let's keep going. I like how they let you do this before they put you into a real combat situation. See, my... yeah. I got the wrong instinct there. Did that with the wrong timing, but I pressed the right button. Keep your fat ass down. Keep up. Need to make sure you do it when it's frozen like that. Move it, recruit. It's not a fucking Sunday stroll. Ryan. You really do have to be quite quick with those. This bit's quite, quite tricky, as you can see. You need to maintain them in... There'll be a point where they both turn blue. When they both turn blue... You're in the right place. Honestly, you will not believe how difficult that was to do, but fortunately, for some reason, after this point, every single time you have to do this, it gets easier. I don't seem to be very good with the uh, Y button. I'm not sure what the reason for that is. Compose yourself and go again. Good thing is you can't really... F it's very hard to fail this game at all, to be honest with you. And it's impossible to fail this first sort of trial section here. You just have to do stuff again if you fail. the Y button um, and that's rather distract him with something that isn't in front of Jody but okay
I like takedowns in uh, combat computer games. They're yeah, cool. slight problem which is even if I take him down well that guy up there is going to notice so what I really need to do is this now there's a ladder here Notice me. <laughs> yeah, possible to take him down from there. Not bad, Jody. If this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. <laughs> Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Hey, looks like you Great made job, it. Jody. Congratulations. So, yeah, quite fun. Yeah, I got spotted during training. Oh, well. And you're going to need all of those skills now. Something I like in computer games, I think is good computer game design, is when they um, show you the game mechanics and get used to them uh, in a way where it doesn't matter that much how uh, you use them, um, you're, you're not going to get hurt, basically, and then they use it in a proper sort of way later on. So yeah, this is another long level, but uh, I'm, I'm probably going to stop part way through, because it does save um, at several points, so not really sure... I don't really remember how you, you activate the next section without making Aiden mess around. So, yeah, this, Aiden doesn't really do a lot yet. He will do, just not yet. Hmm. 
interesting. So, yeah, um, in this level, there are various places where you can get caught and get hurt, uh, but uh, you always manage to escape again. As I say, it's very hard to fail this level. It just affects your score at the end. It's possible that there's more than one uh, ending to the game and it will affect the ending you get as well. Perhaps some mistakes you make can't be undone. I'm not sure. But you won't get a game over. Nice thing too is that I can actually do some commentary here without having to pause it. Graphics aren't bad actually. Considering they're a few uh, few years old, I don't think they're that bad. So, uh, yeah, Jody, um, might be a good idea to alert her. Sorry to have to do this to your water, but tarp's probably still on. Look, I told you that. <gasps> yes, you're gonna want to know this. Turn to your seat, please. Shit! That's her! That's her! See? You need them. I don't know why she looks back. It's a really Freeze, stupid thing please. to do. Always fetching you, but quick, Iden, lock the window. done better there and escaped immediately, but never mind. not confusing to you, but in case it, it is, this happens after she's done the CIA training. I mean, not immediately after, but... I think it's possible to make yourself lean in one direction. One of one. I'm not sure. You might need to just combat these guys.
probably have to press downwards to do that thing where she... Yeah, I made a mistake in getting pressed downwards there. We need backup! She's getting away! So you need to keep it pressed for this bit. Well, my dinner is going to be ready soon. Not that you need to know that, but this also seems like an exciting time to end the episode. So I'm going to go now. See you next time.